What's up everybody, it is Nick here playing some Call of Duty Black Ops Zombie Mode on the new map Shangri-La and this is going to be posted on a lot of different channels so um, if you're watching this on a channel other than mine I'll put a link down below, uh, a link to my channel so go check out my channel if you get a chance I have another, uh, my first time that I played on it on my channel and I didn't get too far so this is definitely an improvement from then uh, but anyway today First off, I want to talk to you about how to get a lot of points in the early levels. Um, in the early levels, basically, you need to go for points, because if you don't go for points, you're not going to be able to open up doors or anything, um, especially in solo. When you're playing with other people, uh, four people, then it's a little bit easier to get, to get out of a room. But uh, anyway, when you're playing solo, or even if you're not playing solo, with the pistol, the pistol is basically a point uh, horde. It gets all your points for you. Um, basically what you want to do is you want to shoot the guy uh, four times in the chest or the zombie four times in the chest and then stab him if you can I mean obviously if there's a bunch of zombies around you just gonna want to shoot them uh, try to line them up though if there's a bunch because it'll like uh, it'll go be like a collateral and you'll get a whole bunch more points so uh, you want to try to line them up if they're like a lot of them but if you can if they're like single shoot them four times then stab or or if you have enough bullets or time, you can shoot eight times in the leg and then stab them. Because uh, they take less damage to the leg and you'll get a whole lot more points for doing that. But you'll also waste a lot more ammo. So, um, Usually what I do is I get rid of the pistol by like round two and I buy the M14 uh, when I'm playing solo. But I'm not playing solo. I pretty much conserve my ammo. I pretty much like stab the first round. Uh, just only stab, not rack up points the first round and do that. But... Uh, when I'm playing solo, I don't really care. I just buy the M14 anyway. Um, but anyway, that's that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today for the first part. But um, this zombie gameplay is not going to go through the whole gameplay because the whole gameplay was like 45 minutes, and I've shortened it down to like 10. So I do skip through the levels. I basically show you um, the most important parts of the or not the most important but the parts that I thought were pretty cool and you guys might like to see um, I do get the shrink gun I don't know exactly what it's called it's like the J JG B360 or something I don't know uh, but you guys know probably know what I'm talking about if you have an Xbox or even if you don't PlayStation people you've probably watched some gameplay on it um, but anyway I know it's a little late to be talking about this but um, I'm gonna tell you guys what I did for my 4th of July um, yeah, it's kind of late, but basically, my church every year has this 4th of July thing, 4th of July celebration, and my church is, like, basically near the beach. Like, the beach is across the street, so we went over to the beach and shot off some fireworks, some bottle rockets, um, some, I don't know exactly what the other ones were called, but they were pretty cool. We had some, we had fun, and then around, like, 9.30-ish, there's this casino, that shoots up well it's not the casino I think the casino puts it on but it's on this island and they shoot off fireworks like it's a big fireworks show and that was really nice this year they spent like fifty thousand dollars on fireworks so it was really cool I enjoyed it um, especially like shooting off the fireworks myself that was pretty fun um, that was like the first time in a while that we've actually bought fireworks and did that so we had a lot of fun um, I, I didn't really like there was a party at my church but we kinda me and my sister and my family just kind of went off to the beach. I mean, we didn't really leave them because, like, we stayed for, like, the first until it got dark to where we could shoot off our fireworks. And we had food and all the good stuff. And then we went over to the beach. So I had a really good time. If you guys want to share what you did for your 4th of July, um, leave a comment down below. Uh, and I'll try to read every single one of them. And if you don't have an Xbox or a PlayStation, this is the... Or, I mean, if you don't have a PlayStation or... Xbox that doesn't have the map pack yet. That is the Napalm Zombie, and that is probably like the worst one I think because the Shrieker, um, he's not too bad because he just kind of blinds you and he's easier to kill. I think the Napalm is like a pain in the butt to kill. And I shot him once thinking I had insta kill on, maybe it would instantly kill him, but it didn't. So, anyway, that's basically what I want to talk about for the chunk of this commentary. Um, I think this is the part that I cut out where I get the, um, yeah, I get the JGB, whatever, the shrink gun, and I 
get it out of the. I let this steal it, the monkey steal it, because they change your things, and I get. I believe the first time I get the crossbow, or no, I get the spectre. And I decide, eh, I'm not going to take that because I have a Galil and a Commando and stuff like that. Oh, also, while I'm talking about the box, sometimes when you're playing solo, you don't want to rely on the box because the box sometimes gives you crap. And usually what I'll do is I'll buy the M14. I get the shrink gun here. I'll buy the M14 and then I'll go to the box and trade in my pistol for the M14 once the pistol's out of ammo. But, um... So I'll try to use all my ammo on my pistol, then give it away. And if the box gives me something crappy, like, um, I don't know, like a crossbow, which isn't really crappy, but um, it is crappy when all you have is an M14 as your secondary. So what I would usually do is, in that room that mine started out, there is a um, AK-74U, and I usually will buy that. But this game, the first thing it gave me, I think, was a Galil. It was either Galil or Commando, and both of the, I had both of those guns. And both of them are really good for zombies. They have average size clips, and they do pretty much damage in the first couple of levels. And, uh, yeah. So, it's really good to do that. I think this round, or I actually skipped to a couple rounds later, but where I use the, whatever, the shrink gun. I don't know why I can't, I don't remember the name of it. It's, like, really long and stuff like that. So, this is how you pack a punch, by the way. If you don't already know, there's these pedestals or like pressure plates all over the map there's four of them and depending on how many people you're playing with three of them or two of them or how many people you're playing with will pop up and you have to stand on them and they'll stop that statue over that you saw by the thing and you'll stand on that and when you when it stops that means when all of them stop that means everybody's on it and the steps down at the bottom will open up and you can go up here and pack a punch and I thought that the zombies wouldn't be able to get up here so I decided to camp up here well that was a bad idea so don't ever do that and here's a shrieker I shrink him and blow him off the map <laughs> I actually do like the shrink gun at first when I first got it I wasn't sure about it because I thought it just shrank him I didn't know you could run up and hit him and they fly so I thought it was pretty much pointless gun but it's actually not I really like it and this game is unfortunately coming to an end after this level. Um, I don't get too far after this level. I think I died like at the very beginning of level 14, but that's pretty good for solo. I think I go down. Yeah, I get downed right here. And that was my last quick revive that I could buy because you can only buy three um, quick revives before it goes away, which I think is kind of fair because otherwise solo you'd just be able to buy quick revive all the time. and it'd be pointless because people would just get to like a hundred and they would be like dying every five seconds so this is nice footage of the shrink gun it comes in handy a lot when you have a lot of zombies in this area right here because this area is probably not one of the best spots because as you notice this map there's no place to run trains or anything you um, basically have to run around the map and hope you get kills I do buy juggernaut there but and doesn't do much help later so I got a big old train of them coming uh, but you still have to continue to run like backwards otherwise you're gonna die and this is the unfortunate ending I get trapped on this bridge thing right here and I was trying to pull out my shrink gun but I couldn't pull it out in time um, if I had I probably would have got to like 20 but oh well you know stuff happens and the final score that I get was round or level 14 and my points were 42,300 I had 312 kills and 59 headshots so thanks guys for watching uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribe to all the channels I'm gonna be posting this on and as well as mine and follow me on Twitter and all that probably all that stuff will be in the description so thanks guys for watching and I will see you guys later bye